To begin with, the stretcher frame is placed on the two mobile shelves. The shelves can be moved manually to adapt to the size of the frame. Then, the canvas needs to be inserted between the two horizontal bars. Pressing the pedal makes the top bar lower, which we will call pinching bar, so that the canvas remains blocked. Then, the button is pressed which raises the two shelves so that, in turn, they raise the stretcher frame with the canvas. Now we move to the back of the machine, where the canvas can be stapled with a pneumatic stapler. Then the button is pushed so that the pinching bar opens and simultaneously the two shelves are lowered. At this point, the canvas is turned upside down to fix the opposite side. As we have seen previously, the canvas is inserted manually between the two horizontal bars. Then the pedal is pressed to make the pinching bar lower, which blocks the canvas and the button is pressed which raises the two shelves, raising therefore the stretcher frame with the canvas. From behind the machine the canvas is stapled. With the same system one proceeds to apply the points on the other two sides. The corners of the stretcher frame are then completed manually by cutting the excess canvas and applying a couple of staples after having folded the corners canvas. At the end the canvas can be trimmed with a knife. If one wants, the staples are applied on the border of the stretcher frame, as you are seeing. It's necessary to lower the pressure to a singular atmosphere by rotating the appropriate knob which is found under the title pushing pressure. At the end, the corners are manually fixed with a couple of staples. The canvas is then trimmed with a knife. We now examine in detail the technical aspects of the machine. To make the machine work, a compressor is necessary. A 24 litre with 50 litre of sucked air is sufficient. The air comes out of the compressor at a pressure of approximately 6 atmospheres and, passing through a spiral tube, enters the commanding block by a joint. Note that the air converges also in the spiral tube, which arrives to the pneumatic stapler. We will explain this in more detail later. For now, let us focus on the other technical aspects. The machine has a pedal. The pressure of the pedal makes the pinching bar lower. The two shelves which have to support the frame can be moved sideways to adapt to the dimension of the stretcher frame. Their position can be fixed by a knob. They can also be moved vertically. To change the height, unscrew the screw which is found behind the shelf, change manually the vertical position of the shelf, and then screw the screw to fix it in its new position. In the top part of the command, there are two round buttons. Above the left button is the word RESET. This button is needed to bring the horizontal pinching bar to its original position. Above the right button are the words zero, ciclo one. The button is turned on by turning it clockwise, or rather to position one, and is switched off in the reverse manner. The switching of this button affects the vise which tightens the canvas between the two bars and, subsequently, raises the two shelves with support the stretcher frame. If the button is turned off turning towards the left, the pinching bar lifts, releasing the canvas and the shelves return to their starting position. In the central part of the panel we see two manometers. The left manometer, with the words pressione di spinta, pushing pressure, indicates the upward pressure of the shelves. The right manometer, with the words pressione di pinzatura, or pinching pressure, indicates the pressure of the horizontal pinching bar, which falls, blocking the canvas. 
and a reach manometer is a knob which is used to increase or decrease the pressure. We have seen that from the compressor the air arrives to the control box. A joint also makes the air flow to the pneumatic stapler which is used to fix the canvas to the stretcher frame. The pneumatic staples which you are seeing is the OMA 8016 SL provided by Rinaldin with the code 335 SL. Its characteristic is that it has a long nozzle so that it can enter easily into the loophole between the two horizontal bars. Above the machine is a line of screws. The screws are needed to regulate the distance between the pinching bar and the lower bar and therefore are needed to make the pinching of the canvas equal. A final annotation. The machine is provided with a protection bar which prevents fingers to be entangled in the pinching grip. We have to have a specify the probability of the accident happening is almost zero and in the case of it happening there wouldn't be any damage to the fingers. In case the fingers are entangled it's best to avoid pulling them out. It's simply necessary to unhook the cycle button to make the pinching bar lift. We also have to specify that this video has been shot without the protection bar considering its uselessness. Furthermore, it specified that the protection bar would prevent the process which you are seeing. The process of stapling the frame on the border and not on the back. The machine is provided with an exhaustive Italian, English and German manual. You will find the Tendi canvas stretcher in the catalogue of Rinaldin and on the website www.rinaldin.com.